Okay, good morning everyone. It's my great pleasure to welcome you here to the New South Wales Rail Museum this morning. My name is Andrew Moritz and I'm the CEO of Transport Heritage New South Wales. What an exciting start we've got to the Thelmere Festival of Steam this weekend. Um, firstly, the weather is fantastic, but we're here this morning um, for a very special occasion um, in the life of the museum. I'd firstly like to acknowledge that this morning we're gathered on the traditional lands of the Darawal people and pay my respects to elders both past and present. I'd also like to acknowledge the Chair of THNSW, Rob Mason, and Director Howard Collins who are here um, this morning, as well as the many members, volunteers, and friends of the museum. It's great to see you here um, for this occasion. As I said, this is um, our opportunity to unveil and put into steam our 101-year-old steam locomotive 3526. And I know this locomotive has been a favourite um, for many members and volunteers over many years that it's been in preservation. I'll just give you a brief background and history on the locomotive. It first entered service in 1917 and it was the first class of locomotive completely designed and entirely built here in New South Wales. A major achievement not only for the state, the nation at the time and the railways. Given the increased power that came with these engines, they made intercity sleeping car trains a reality between Sydney and Melbourne and Sydney and Brisbane. And in the late 1920s, 3526 was then painted dark blue and put to work hauling the Caves Express, a product of the New South Wales Railways designed to attract day trippers to the Blue Mountains and not dissimilar to its role with us in terms of taking people on a tourist excursion. By the mid-1930s, it had lost its position to the more powerful 36-class locomotives and was relegated to less important trains. And today you'll see the 36 on display on the platform in the museum. Even closer, okay. Um, it was removed from traffic in 1966 and placed into the custodianship of the museum in 1967. So it's been in preservation since 1967. It's the only survivor of all of the 35 class steam locomotives that entered service and it's a favourite, as I said, of our members and volunteers here at the museum. Today is the culmination of over five years of countless volunteer and staff hours in returning the locomotive to steam. Before we unveil the locomotive, I'd like to invite and introduce our fleet manager, Bruce Rakin, who's going to take you through the work that's been done on the locomotive and acknowledge the people that have um, worked tirelessly on it. Bruce. Thanks, Andrew. That's a wonderful introduction to this, uh, this, this day we're, and this celebration we're having here today. Welcome to ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, to the New South Wales Rail Museum at Thelmere. Today we're celebrating the return to service of steam locomotive 3526 after five years overhaul. It is through the dedication of our volunteers and paid staff that we've been able to bring this locomotive back to life. Quite an achievement. In the last year, this job has been pushed along by our hard-working, dedicated and skilled workshop manager, Ben Elliott, who will shortly be driving the, driving the locomotive out from behind the roller door. Along with the whole team, including volunteers Peter Harvey and Ron Handley, who have put an incredible effort in throughout this project. We've also had some excellent contractors provide services for various parts during the overhaul, including Medina Engineering, k and Ainsworth, JME Fabrication, Ricky Spray Painting, and many more. There are many, many more such people, a lot of whom are at this gathering here today who have contributed in, in so many ways to the works performed. We've had people from all walks of life, skilled and unskilled, from teenagers to retirees, all coming together as a team to produce an excellent result. They should feel very proud to have been part of this project. To all, we give our sincere appreciation and thanks for a job well done. 3526 was withdrawn from service five years ago, specifically to have the tender tank repaired due to its poor condition. When the old tank was removed from the frame, it was found that the frame was very badly corroded and the scope of the works escalated from there into a rather major job. 
The works undertaken on this locomotive represents the most comprehensive overhaul of any of our steam locomotives, all done by volunteers and paid staff. This heavy overhaul was done in what is effectively a running shed without an overhead travelling crane. The work performed on the locomotive has included such things as heavy repair works to the boiler in the firebox, replacement of the superheater elements and steam pipes, a new tender tank and underframe, overhaul of the tender bogies, new tyres and crank pins fitted to the engine wheels, new axle boxes, a rebuild of the engine front bogey, rebuild of the engine drag box, the air compressor overhaul, brand new boiler cladding, removal of the fireman's side cylinder to, to, to perform fractures to the repair to the, to the casting, plus new front cylinder covers on both sides. They were both found to be very badly corroded and much, much, much more than that list there. This is, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's uh, an enormous amount of work. In a cumulative sense, this job ranks as the heaviest work done to any of our locomotives in the THMSW fleet. There are still a few finishing touches to be made, including some trial running, but we're very close to the, to the finish line. The paintwork on this locomotive, which you'll see shortly, is arguably the best steam locomotive paint job that has been, been seen for many years. I fondly recall the, the shiny X-Works liveries on, on, on locomotives 3203 and 3137 from the, uh, the railways workshops in Everly in the early 70s. I think we're, uh, we're going to see something special here today. And also, while we cannot see it right now this morning, before we started moving locomotives around in preparation for our services uh, today, we had a roundhouse full of steam locomotives. 2705, 3016, 3265, 3526, 3642 one that we can all be very proud of. Thank you very much. Thanks, Bruce. So now I'm uh, going to invite Ben Elliott, our workshop manager, to steam 3526 out onto the turntable. Once it's on the turntable, uh, the turntable is going to turn uh, for photographs, and I'm also going to ask all the staff and volunteers who've worked on the locomotive to come up to the turntable for an official photograph after we've mo obviously moved the turntable. So without further ado, Locomotive 3526, you may proceed.
I think you better right now.
So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, our brand new 3526. How about a big round of applause? I'd certainly now like to invite all the staff and volunteers who've been involved in the restoration of 3526 to make their way up onto the turntable for a photograph. And as I said earlier, the locomotive will now, um, shortly after this ceremony, make its way down into the main central park um, and be available um, for much closer inspection uh, throughout the rest of the Festival of Steam. Um, so please uh, do come on back to the area where the garret is currently on display and you'll see uh, the locomotive up much closer for the rest of the weekend. Can I add my personal thanks to everyone who's been involved in this project. It has been an enormous effort and commitment over many years and it's fantastic to see here today all those people joining with us to celebrate its return to service. Thank you very much and enjoy the rest of the Thelmere Festival of Steam. Mm -hmm. They're going to have their photos taken. But they're interested. These are the people that can go That's fine, Granny. Yeah. <laughs> 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 